Hey, look, 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 look. The expense. It's club. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Two Fox One Cat Recipes. Today we are making a very non-healthy recipe, but it's really yummy. And if you feel like you have a sweet craving, it's perfect. So today we are making honeycomb. Um, that's what we call it in England. I'm not sure. I think other countries call it maybe slightly different names, but I don't know what they are. So we call it honeycomb, and it's really easy to make. You need three ingredients: sugar, honey, or golden syrup, and uh, bicarbonate of soda. Cool. So let's get started. So you're going to need a pot. You want something that has reasonably high sides because when we mix in the bicarb, it's going to expand. Turn it on. We're going to keep it on a medium heat. So first we need to make a caramel. We have 200 grams of sugar in 100 grams of honey. Take good honey, not, not bad honey, because it's going to affect the flavour of your um, honeycomb. So if you take a honey with a strong flavour, it's going to give it a more depth of flavour to your honeycomb and not just a bland honey flavour. Okay, so with your caramel, you never want to stir it. You just want to let the sugar dissolve and occasionally you can take the sides and give it a wiggle, but never stir it because it's going to encourage the caramel to create, to crystallize. And we don't want that to happen. We want it to reach a light caramel kind of color, a light brown color. So you want to turn the pan a little bit like this so you can you can see what your caramel is doing and you can make sure all of your sugar is dissolved and then we want to reach a nice brown colour, not too dark, not too light, otherwise if you do it too soon then you're not going to reach the good texture in your honeycomb, it's going to be a bit chewy, you don't want chewy honeycomb, you want it to be crunchy. So we're going to wait a little bit longer. So now all the sugar is dissolved and we're just waiting for a nice brown colour and we're almost there, just maybe 30 more seconds, you can see it starts to get a nice brown colour. Okay so we're ready with the colour, I'm going to cut the heat, next step, whisk. We need bicarbonate of soda and you need to make sure it's bicarbonate of soda, not baking soda. It won't work with baking uh, baking powder, sorry. It won't work with baking powder, it needs to be bicarb of soda. Two teaspoons of bicarb. I'm going to grab my whisk and whisk. And now the magic happens. Look, 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 it expands. Okay, so once you have poured your honeycomb into your pre-prepared tin with parchment paper, although it's kind of overexpanded, then you're just going to leave it for 30 minutes to completely cool down. Don't touch it because it's going to be very hot. We'll see you then. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. As you can see, it is hardened the person that put this paper in didn't put it over the edge so might be a little bit difficult to get out it's not me I'm gonna figure out how to get it out and we'll come back to you <laughs> it's, <club. laughs> it's crunchy <laughs> okay so like enzo don't put the parchment paper <laughs> make sure you put the parchment paper over out. the out over the <laughs> sides because actually we weren't expecting it to go so big it did go very big so just for precaution over the sides and now all you want to do is break it up into, into pieces and uh, I'm gonna do this and we'll see you once it's done breaking party oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's making a mess it's not easy yeah so now do you store that so you want to store this in a glass jar or an airtight container because it's going to start to absorb the moisture and go a bit sticky uh, if you leave it out in the air and it's probably lasts around a week if it actually lasts that long and you don't eat it all so here is our handmade honeycomb made in a van super easy really quick really yummy so mm -mm -mm. if you like this recipe and you want to support us don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one